Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. Now, before we do anything, let's go and grab that, um, oh, hang on. Did I just, did I just done goofed? I think I did. We need to go back and use that flare gun. I did. I fucked up. We need to get the lighter. We definitely need the lighter. Because how else are we going to ignite the flare gun? Not really sure why there's a flare gun. But it is what it is. Let's go grab that. Let's go. Dum, dum, dum. I miss those transitions. Do I want to see them come back? No. <laughs> it would be cool for a nice little Easter egg, though. To have them. But they're definitely not needed. Definitely not. Alright, let's go and keep going. There shouldn't be any zombies here. We should have, like, wasted them all. Ah, oh, man. It's, you know, it seems like we haven't fought many enemies for ages, even though we've just, like, come down this corridor and blasted loads. I want more enemies to fight, damn it. I want to fight all of the damn enemies. Yeah, yep, yep, there we are. Right, let's use that sucker here. <laughs> Very underwhelming uh, flare, actually. And it lasted about 30 seconds. Will you take the weapon box key? Yes, we will. So this is like a secret item. I say secret in the loosest possible term. But it's nice to have. I think actually like it's more important for Leon than it is for Claire. Because for Leon, I think it allows you to get the, hand, uh, the magnum upgrade parts. Which is spicy. Not sure why, actually. That's kind of like a strange design choice. The uh, Leon got all the cool like upgraded weapons and whatnot, which is why everyone used to pretty much, at least in my experience, everyone preferred playing as Leon because he got like the beefier weapons. Whereas I don't remember anyone liking the Spark Shot, and I certainly don't remember anybody liking the bow gun. The bow gun was always a bit pap. I say a bit pap, it was actually very pap. It was like utterly awful, in fact. As we've kind of demonstrated. I mean it's like it's pretty good against zombies, but and a random cattail. But that's about it. <sighs> Certainly not reliable enough for liquors. Not even close to being reliable enough for liquors. Right, let's drop this because we don't really need this. So many herbs. Didn't get many red herbs though, did we? Uh, we don't need the lighter like ever again if I remember correctly. Please don't scratch the cloud. We have been over this several times. And now you're knocking the mic. Alright, let's go. Cloud. Is you going to sit? Eh, just like squish you down. There we go. Alrighty. So, what have we got here? Cloud, you're just knocking the mic around. Look. No. No. Away. Silly cat. There we go. Now, what have we got going on down here? Oh, we got the map, which is nice. We'll take the factory map. Now, one thing that was really cool is in Resident Evil um, Zero, you came back here and uh, this whole section was done up again with like really swanky graphics and it was really quite nice. It seems to be a control uh, device for the turntable. There's a keyhole. It certainly is. And why do I get the feeling that I've missed something? Ah, Sherry! God, you are the fucking thorn in my ass right now. Seriously, come, look, stop squatting. 
I will shoot you in the face. Oh god, if I was Claire, I would shot you in the face a long time ago. Right, let's go. Kids. Ugh. Alright, come on. I think we can just, like, put her here. I think. Right, now you sit there and chill out and shut up. Now, if we go in the shitter, I think someone's passed something rather painful. Ugh. We actually have reached the point in the game where we have more grenade ammo than anything else. Which is <laughs> interesting, I suppose. Did I? I did, didn't I? Fuck. Why am I such a nub? It doesn't matter. Okay. I was going to say the spark shot's actually quite useful here, but we don't have it. Do we want to go back and get it? Is it wise to go back and get the spark shot? Maybe. When else are we going to use it, to be honest? I mean, it's kind of cool for frying, like, some of the zombies later on, but, like, I, I don't think it's... Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I don't remember her being so irritating. Sherry, this way. Oh, you fucking... Come on. Come on! Come with me if you want to live. Well, I don't... I mean, I... I don't care whether you live or not, to be honest. God damn it, it's like dragging this fucking slippery turd around with you. Ugh. But it's okay, because I love this music. Man, man do I love this music. It's alright, I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad, Sherry. 30 flame rounds. Nice. Uh, I want that. We don't really need that now. Mm. In the interest of, you know, not dying, I might take this with me as well. I'm not convinced we're going to need it, but you never know. You never know. Let's actually have a look at this. Look at that monstrous thing. A high voltage gun to repel experimental animals that uses spark shot rounds and has a range of 10 feet. That's interesting that it mentions it uses spark shot rounds. Uh, yeah, the range is literally so small. It's unreal. <clears throat> it says 10 feet. I think that's lies. 10 centimeters might be more accurate. Maybe a meter at best. Alright, let's use this train. Fire this sucker up. Will you push the activation switch? Well, might as well. Fuck all else to do around here. God, that's so harrowing, that, that horn. Oof. I think we've just alerted every uh, zombie. And monstrous beast for miles around. Might actually be getting ahead of myself with equipping the spark shot. Claire, my stomach. My stomach. That's just gas. You'll be fine. Hang in there, Sherry. My forehead's burning up. I've got to hurry before the embryos pupate. pupate. Oh no. Right on time. Let's go see who's knocking at the door. It's not Santa, that's for sure. In case of an emergency, the red light will turn on. And access from outside will be prohibited for a limited time. Oh my. Hmm. Well, I don't think it's the mailman. Ooh, so we can't go back inside. We're going a long way down. Oh, hello. Not very nice. 
dick? Oh, is that Trump? Ooh, he's wearing a new one. You, that's. Uh oh. Wow. We don't. Uh, we don't want none of that. We don't want none of that business. Ouch! Thank you for your considerable contribution to my well-being. All right. All right. There we go. Um. Ow! 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 Yes. This guy is a little bit more bothersome than I remember. I'll tell you what's thrown me off, actually. It's been thrown me off for the entire game. We don't have auto-aim. Uh-oh. Cloud, can you... Look, away. Okay. Now, let's see what the range is like on this thing. Oh, it does actually hit him. From over there. That's kind of interesting. I never knew. Oh God, that hurts. Thank you, buddy. I was hoping I could slip by him there, but I guess no luck. And we've just knocked ourselves into the next scene. Oh, great. That's not great. Come on, buddy. Oh, God. There we go. Now he's in range. We really want to try and run past him like so. Uh, we're on caution, that's fine. There we go. Ooh, he's not having a good time, bless him. But that's okay. We don't really want him to have a good time, to be honest. We want him to have a very bad time. Come on, buddy. We're just going to, like, keep going deeper and deeper underground. Dude. There we go. Can we hit him from here? No. A little bit closer. Damn you. You infected asshole. Really? How close do you have to... Oh, that doesn't actually take ammo. There we go. Doesn't take ammo if we're um if we don't hit anything with it. That's actually quite cool. Does he drop anything? I don't think so. Alright, well, that could have gone better. Um I'm not gonna lie. That definitely could have gone better. But uh you know, we persevered. I'm hoping that that blast with this. It's not going to stimulate cell growth. That would be bad. I can't remember what side you're supposed to run around him to avoid his claws. Sherry. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, she'd be out. Oh, that scene just looks so ominous with that music. Shaft Type M. Claire? Oh, you're finally awake. Isn't this... That's okay. You keep it. I'm sure it'll keep you She's safe. She's talking about her top. Thank you, Claire. Even though I'm an only child, neither of my parents ever spent much time Aww. with me because of their work. I grew up alone. But now that you're with me, I finally have someone to rely and upon. To rely upon. Hmm. 
Cherry. Rest here for a bit. I'll be right back as soon as I found the antidote for yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's if there is an antidote. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here, Claire. You know, I don't want to put a downer on this whole uh, thing, but uh, we don't know what we're walking into, let's be honest. Also, it's nice... Ugh, bloody hell, you know what? I think we're going to retire the handgun now. Security manuals. My cat is still playing with the... Uh, Nice. With the uh, curtain. Okay. We're, yeah, we're going to retire the hangar now. It's like probably at that point, to be fair, where it's totally and utterly obsolete. Um, let's stick you back. I'm going to keep that bad boy with us. 36 flame rams. Like, I mean, that's not even funny anymore. Let's we keep the flame rounds with us. We're going to keep the acid rounds for Mr. Mr. Grumpy. Um, okay, that'll do for now. Let's go. Uh, will we take the weapons? Locker key? I mean, we could do. We've still got four slots left. Let's go. What are we on? We're on 17 minutes. We're good. We're good. Now, when you come here in Resident Evil... Uh, Resident Evil Zero, one of the Stars Bravo members walks through that door. And I remember it's a really chilling cutscene, because uh, Rebecca's like, and that's the last time anybody ever saw uh, Bladabla alive. And I've, I always find that's quite chilling. I can't remember his name. Right. Let's get old painless out. Now we're really close to the end of the game now. Uh, do we want to go red first or blue? Red versus blue. I'm not sure. Let's go blue. Actually can't remember the correct way to go around this place to be honest. It's been so long. Nope. These bullets can't be used by themselves. Well, no. No, I, I would assume they can't. Door is opened with a keycard. Right, you are. And I don't think we can open that yet either. A shutter switch. Will you push it? Yes, no response. The power is not supplied. <gasps> we actually need that. A little bit later on. To do something for the next scenario. Which I believe in my original run, I might have forgotten to do that. I think it's a little bit chilly in here. Ooh, there's a FA spray there, and we also need this as well. The fuse case with Will Abby. Will Abby. Uh, Will Abby too. Just because. Why not, really? Man, this place. I always like the footstep sound here. Control box. Used for super low temperature experiments. Uh, I could set the superconductor fuse here if I had a fuse case. Well, funny you should mention that, my dear, because we have exactly that in our pocket. Looks like there's only one left as well. Nice bit of animation here. Not really sure who is in charge of ordering these parts, but uh, we're down to our last. Nice. Will you take the main fuse? Yes, we will. Sounds like something that we're probably going to need. There we go. I love the sound of those doors opening up. They sound like they're kind of rattling on their hinges. They just... Oh, they're such, like, big-ass fucking heavy doors, man. Imagine if you had to cut through one of those. Holy shit. Right. 
Now, in theory, a huge breaker system that regulates all the power to the lab. The main fuse has been removed and the power is not active in some areas. Well, we should be able to fix that. And let there be light. Now, we should be able to actually go back and switch this door on, I think. Very rusty uh, in this area. Yeah, we need to activate this. But I think we can't do that yet. We need to go down to the bottom level. Two or more staff are needed to be present to enter. Commence with fingerprint verification. Yeah, there's no point because we can't do that yet. I don't think we can do that yet. I think we need to enter our name in the computer first. Not on file. Type P security door, staff only. Alright, well, I can't actually remember what's in that room. I know there's like, um, I think there's machine gun ammo. There's a spare magazine for it, I think. But I believe it only gives you 50% ammo, which is shit. It would have been nice if they gave you a full 100% more ammo, but uh, there we go. Beggars can't, in this case, be choosers. Now, I know what we have through here. There are a couple of rather nasty customers. Yep, we got some ivies. Now these suckers indeed suck. Ooh. Spitting that funk at me. Now unless you use fire and burn these guys. Even when they're dead. They will still whip you as you go past. Trying to get lure them out. You don't really have to kill these guys. But it's fun to kill these guys. There we go. Yeah, burning them. I think is the only way to kill them. Yeah, because they won't whip us as we go by now. I don't think we need to go down here just yet. Yeah, that just leads to the world's longest ladder. Yeah, this is what we really have been saving. Our fire. Oh, hello. Evening. Really? Good thing we brought enough of these to waste. Oh, hello. Oof. Yeah, those things hurt. They really hurt. Do they continuously come back then? Lock from the inside. Maybe they continuously come back. I can't remember. Ah, yes. We need the lighter for this bit. I think that's the last part that you do need the lighter for. Or... If you're smart, no, you can't actually use that, which is a shame. Oops. Right, so what have we got here? User registration. Temporary user registration for the culture experiment room. Name guest. Password none. Valid for 24 hours. Seems to be a bit of a security flaw if you ask me, but what do I know? Laboratory security manual. Laboratory, secu <laughs> Laboratory security manual. Security measures in case of an emergency. In the instant of an uncontainable biohazardous breakout, all security measures will be directed towards the underground transport facility. In the instance that any abnorm uh, abnormalities are detected among the 
cargo in transit, all materials will be automatically transported from the loading zone to the designated high-speed train, at which point all materials will be isolated and disposed of immediately. In the instant of a Class 1 emergency, the entire train will be purged and disposed of without delay. In the instance that the lab itself becomes contaminated, the northernmost route currently used to transport materials to and from the facility will be designated as the emergency escape route. This route will secure passage to the relay point outside the city limits. Disclosure about any information regarding the research conducted here or the existence of this facility is strictly prohibited. Since it is a top priority to keep all research classified, classified escape access may be denied under certain uh, extenuating circumstances yeah so basically they might just choose to let everybody die instead the console says anti bow gas sprinkler will you switch will you turn on the switch yes I can't you remember what that does I think it makes the BOWs weaker but I can't remember Ah, bowgun bolts. Actually not bad. I believe Leon, though, gets the flamethrower in here. But you need to be careful, like, using the submachine gun and the flamethrower, because they actually count as special weapons, and if you use special weapons, uh, the game actually punishes you, frustratingly enough, by lowering your rank, which is kind of annoying, because, like... The submachine gun and the flamethrower, well, not so much the flamethrower, but the submachine gun is quite a fun weapon to use. Alright, let's eat that. And we'll collect that one for shits and giggles, I guess. Okie dokie. Let's go down the longest fucking ladder known to man. Almost as long as the one in uh, Metal Gear 3. Look at that thing. Like, where is that meeting any health and safety code? Oh, we got liquors. Need the right tool for the job. Actually, should we see how good the spark shot is against liquors? I don't think it's brilliant, to be honest, but... Come on, matey! Make my day. Say hello to my little friend. Ooh, there he is. I remember you. Ooh. Yeah. Kind of ineffective, really. Really use 5% per blast. Hey, buddy. Come on. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at, you little shit? Oh, you run all the way over there, did you? I ain't gonna save you. You're done. Next. Oh, shit. It's so hard to judge how far away the enemies are. Think that, yeah, that hit him. You're out of here, my friend. Wood, ah, that thing's basically useless. It's got one shot left. Uh, right. Let's keep continuing forwards. There's some herbs back there, but kind of don't need them at the moment. By kind of don't need them, we definitely don't need them. Uh, back into the save room, which is good. Now, is there anything good in here? Uh, not really, to be honest. We're on half an hour, guys. So, what we're going to do, we're going to grab the lighter. We're going to keep that on us. Definitely going to drop that bab. Oh, shit, I think this is a special weapon, so we've just lowered our rank anyway. Ah, well, fuck it. It doesn't really matter. 
Um, very few people use the spark shot, which is kind of like why I wanted to use it, to be honest, but there we go. It really, really isn't good. It's not really worth using, to be honest, but there we are. And this is why, like, everyone says Resident Evil 2 is, like, the easiest game in the series. I mean, we haven't been careful. We've been hit plenty, because I'm rusty as fuck. But look how much health I have. Look how many weapons we've got as well. You know, we're doing very well. I actually, like, run out of handgun bullets, which I don't ever remember happening before. If I'm being 100% honest. But it's been a while. Now, what's kind of interesting, if you play this game on easy, I think there's a few less enemies, and you start with 250 bullets on you, which is insane. Um, and not only... Is it 250 you start with? Or was it 120? I can't remember now. But you start with a lot of bullets. And um, I think I might save it here, too. Because I haven't saved it for like the last four videos or something. Um, and on top of everything else, uh, all that handgun ammo in the beginning of the game that we didn't pick up as well. Right, let's drop a save. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I have. And as always, till next time.